Hey, it's Chelsea, and I'm so grateful you chose to watch this video today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got this sleek low bun on my thick or dense natural hair. Don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. I'm starting on an old braid out, but you can do this on any type of stretch hair. And this is a quick link check just to show about how long my hair is and the fact that my hair in the front does not reach all the way in the back where my bun would be. I'm just gonna start off by spraying my hair with some warm water to get it pliable to work with. I'm getting it slightly damp, but not too wet. I'm gonna moisturize my hair using the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, and I'm coming back to this product. I used to use it a while back and I loved it, but I stopped using it for some reason. No particular reason but I'm giving it another try I heard they changed the formula I'm not sure um, it does pretty good but I'm making sure to get it really good on my ends because this is going to be a protective style I'm separating out the bottom one fourth of my hair and then tying the top part out of the way and then I'm just going to detangle this section thoroughly from ends to roots and this is very important because it's going to make sure that you get your bun nice and smooth and sleek so I separated it into two halves to make sure I got all the way in there. Then I'm going to take this Eco Styler Gel with Argan Oil and put that around the entire section and I filmed this before everything came out about the harmful effects of this gel and honestly I still need to do my own research before I decide if I'm canceling them or not but I haven't used it since this day um, you can use whatever gel you like I just really worked it in brushed it through and then tied it out of the way to keep it smoothed down then I'm gonna part off another section about the same size and repeat I added a little bit more warm water and then detangled both sides thoroughly then I'm adding the gel around the edges and then I'm just going to use my hands to work it in and smooth it down before brushing it through. And I'm adding that to the bottom section, blending the two together with my brush. I'm tying that out of the way just to keep it smooth before moving to the next section. At the front, I'm going to create my middle part first and then work on one half at a time, splitting that half into a front and back section and that section into two smaller sections so that it's easier to detangle. If your hair is easier to detangle, you might not need as many sections, but then at the same time, you probably clicked on this video because you have thick or dense hair, so it's likely not very easy to detangle, but I'm just doing all the same steps and then adding it to the back section really just working on smoothing down those roots so I get a flat bun and I did the same to the section on the other side so now I have most of my hair into the low ponytail then I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the front sections. I added a little bit more gel to the base and to the strands of these sections because they had further to stretch to the back. And I'm brushing them down more towards the side in like a swooping motion. And this time I did both sides before adding it to the back section and I'm blending them together but making sure not to mess up my middle part. And just tying it out of the way again. At the front, I did the exact same steps. I just didn't want to cut anything out on this part so you can really see how I get all of my kinky hair to lay flat. I pulled out my tendril for the side and then I'm brushing it in the swooping motion again towards the side. I'm brushing with one hand, smoothing with the other, brushing and smoothing, brushing and smoothing, and then bam, it's flat. Just until I can <laughs> pull it back into the ponytail. But same thing on the other side, brushing and smoothing. And then I'm just going to try to get all of the hair that I can all the way back into the ponytail. Then I'm gonna take some of the gel first to seal that down and try to get some of the little flyaways. And then take the Eco Styler Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil Conditioning Shining Gel, which is basically just edge control, and put that on top of where I put down the gel to really seal down all those little flyaways. And where I have the pieces that won't reach all the way back to the ponytail, I'm just gonna bobby pin it down. So even if your hair is shorter than mine, you can still use this technique, just make sure you use black bobby pins and it shouldn't be too noticeable I didn't show them all here but I think I used maybe like 10 bobby pins <music> 
taking this edge brush I got from my local beauty supply store. I love this thing. It was like $2 just to lay down my edges with the same edge control. And I have a video on how I lay down my edges. I'll link it in the upper right corner. And I'm using some of the gel as well around the part area and around the back section just to make everything lay down flat. Then I tied it up with my favorite burnt up holy head scarf and you need to tie it down for at least 30 minutes and look how flat that is. Like I had to use a lot of gel to get it this way but if I didn't then it would not be this flat. I'm creating a little bun in the back and you can leave it like this but I'm going to add these clip-ins from Sassina Hair to make my bun more full. I'm using one bundle of the Kinky Curly Clip-In Extensions in 22 inches. The clips are pretty sturdy but I would have to say when you clip it down just make sure it's not too much hair in it or else it won't close. And I'm going to use the longer 3 and 4 clips on the perimeter of the bun and then take the smaller shorter 1 and 2 clips in the middle of the bun. And this is super easy, you just open the clip, place it down on some hair, wherever you want it, and then close it down, and they stayed secure all night. I used all seven clips that the bundle came with, so I feel like if you were trying to use these on your whole head, you would need at least two, probably three bundles. I'm combing through the hair to give it a little bit more of a kinky texture. This hair is definitely looser than my own curl pattern but I like the way it looks I'm creating my bun just using some bobby pins and the bun ended up being really huge I probably didn't need these the whole bundle but I like how big it turned out and instead of pinning every single piece down I'm gonna leave a few strands out just to make it look a little bit less perfect and give it more character I guess and then just to cover where you can see the clips a little bit, I'm going to use these, one of these scrunchies I got from Urban Outfitters. And these can be found at the beauty supply store. I was kind of mad I didn't check there first. But anyway, I'm taking some of the moisturizer and coiling my little side tendrils. And then taking one final little glob of edge control to smooth it down one last time. And I decided to add some gold bobby pins to the sides just to accessorize a little bit more. But it's not going completely necessary the bone would have stayed down flat without them but that's the completed style I think it's super sleek and flat and cute so I hope it was really helpful let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye